Mark, how do you view tonight's Bristol Street Motors Trophy game? Um, really, really pleased and really frustrated because I thought we were excellent again. Um, played some really good football, created a lot of chances. The keepers pulled off some really good saves and um, with really good moments in the game. Um, so really, really pleased. Um, but we've lost, admittedly, against a very good side. I said to the guys after the game, you know, it's great coming in saying, well done, brilliant, really good football. I really feel we're starting to build something really positive. Um, we'll have lots of games we're going to win games in. We'll have lots of games where we're not playing potential favourites for the league or League One opposition in Cups. As somebody who's a lot older than the players, if I was watching the game in a stand, I'd remember two things from the game. Didn't react to a short corner quick enough, and I said the half trying to step in and win a ball, he shouldn't even attempt to step in. And both of them ended up in goals. And I said to the guys, they're the things I'd remember about us if I walked away, which is a shame because I thought some of the football was outstanding. If we touch on that slightly, of course, I'm sure there'll be moments that we can learn from now, kick on, make sure they don't happen again. Uh, yeah, look, one thing I'm really, really big on, and uh, I've, well, there's a guy, a guy called Mark Maddox who was a brilliant coach I worked with many, many years ago. And he said something to me and I've never thought it. The best players make the best decisions. And at the minute, we're just making a couple of... I'll give you an example. We got, we're in injury time on the halfway line. We send all our big men up. It's got to go in the box. What do we do? Wow. Wow. To my seven-year-old in that, I'd question him. Looking at the positives from tonight, of course, Players getting minutes, obviously Dan Barden, come on, go Shemanga, Danny Butterworth all getting minutes and you know starting their starting their first games of the club. Yeah, there was there's was some huge positives and obviously and a huge thank you to the fans that come. That was so so impressive. It was really pleasing and that and I thought the evasion the players got after the game was testament to the performance, so a huge thank you to them. But what a lot of people don't know, uh, you know, Ryan Delaney got 30 minutes tonight. He hasn't played since February. Uh, Gav Kilkenny is load compromised. Uh, um, Cabs is load compromised. So we, we'd uh, Dan making his debut. So we, we'd lots of things tonight. We've put in an outstanding performance with a really good side while having our hands tied a little bit through nobody's fault. And I'm sure Gary might say he probably had the same problems as well. So um, but that was a huge, huge positive. Uh, along with some really impressive individual performances. One other positive, of course, Joel Cottrell getting his first at the club with a great strike. Yeah, look, he's a fantastic player. Um, did really well for us as a six. Um, we feel his best attributes are as, as an eight playing higher up the pitch. He can finish off both feet. Um, seen him do that in training loads of times, so really pleased for him. You know, he nearly scored goal of the season against Notts County on Saturday, so it was nice to see it be on the, the right side of the, the, the post tonight, but he was awesome tonight. Young player, not played a lot of minutes. Um, he's probably injured for the last 15 minutes, but we've made all our subs. Um, real um, mature performance from him tonight. You touched on players being low compromised, maybe making their first starts in a little while. So how important was tonight in terms of match minutes and sharpness for league games? Uh, really big, really big. Uh, apologies if I can't go through everything. Like uh, I give you an example. I thought Harrison uh, Mintum was outstanding tonight. They're his first minutes. You know, really struggling with cramp towards the end, wants to keep on. Uh, Freck shouldn't have played. He was ill in a really bad way before the game. Um, again, he was outstanding today. Um, probably didn't need a minute, but um, obviously Ryan was low compromised. I said, great to get him back. Great to get minutes into cabs. Uh, Todd J. Kane was really, really impressive tonight. Um, somebody that keeps, you know, not knocking on the door literally, but keeps knocking on the door saying, come on, have a look at me, have a look at me. There's just so many positives. It's just a shame. That at the minute, we're not getting... We're not getting um, the, the results don't reflect the performances ultimately. And it's all about results ultimately. How frustrating is that to a point? Obviously, we know about its performances and getting used to the new play style, but how frustrating is that to sort of get those results that we know this performances deserve at times? Yeah, it, it is frustrating, but what I have to recognise is the opposition. We've played a League One team tonight. We've played a League One team in the Cup, and I felt we should have won tonight. I felt on chances we deserved to win. I thought we were the better side against a very good side. Um, now, Walsall was definitely a, a, a damp day for us um, physically. Um, our stats were really, really poor, but we were well beaten on the day. Outside of that, I think we've been very, very good in all our games. And that's you, you have to focus on the process. You have to focus on 
um, the process of what you're trying to do, what does it look like, are you seeing things in training, are you seeing messages, are you seeing patterns of play, are you seeing the DNA that you're implementing and we're like, we're all over it. Um, but there has to become a point where, where the performances turn into uh, wins. I say that v really carefully and respectfully, which is far too early into the season now. And I also said to the lads before the game, this is really important, which they won't pick on. They've missed a lot of pre-season with me. Like we're probably three weeks behind where we should be because I haven't been in. And I really, really feel for them in that regard. And that's a lot, that's a lot of time on the grass. Um, but where we are from a football perspective, I think we're really in a really good place. With that in mind, we'll take the positives going into Barrow back in the league on Saturday. 100%. I mean, look, it's a tough game. It's a tough week. Exeter away, Barrow away in the same week. So that's tough. But, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're well drilled, well run. Uh, we look after the players. We'll patch them up. Um, get some food into them, hydrate, uh, rehydrated, and we'll be good to go. But it's a game we're looking in the form we're in and how we're playing and what it looks like. It's a game that we should be looking forward to, and the players should be looking forward to.